This, this is the afternoon of the beginning of the peak Day before Halloween. Of, of the awesomest time of the year. Yes, sir. We're going to get it done tonight. Miss Sana's going to get her one. <laughs> That's what you call a close up. Extremely close up. I've never seen one. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go, hunt. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, be Fred, Fred, we got to go. Beth Let's leaving go. us. She's going to be in the she stand. She ain't got She's going to be in the stand shot one she before we even you. get out there. What's crazy is we're going hunting and it's actually nice outside. It's like 70, something like that, when the air conditioner's still running. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Door. On October 30th, the daggum air conditioner's still running. But I bet it don't run tonight. I bet it don't. All right, we're going to get serious. We're getting a redneck blind. And see if one of these shooter bucks wants to walk out and be famous. She'd go with us. <clears throat> so here we are. Just in case some come back downwind of us. Crack this thing up. There is a deer trail about 12 feet behind the ladder. So. Yeah, I know. It's all good. See if that'll get one thing killed. Put some wash spray inside this thing. I think we'd have a good time this evening. Alright, we'll right, get settled up and chill out and see what happens.
already seen two bucks, two eight points in a doe. And that last eight point there that just ran off when the feeder went off was maybe a, probably a three year old that we've got on camera. But I just, I don't know. He, would, he didn't crank my tractor, as we say. So, uh, he gets a pass for now, I guess. We'll see what happens over there. I got a bigger buck on camera another day. That, actually, a couple bigger bucks on camera that definitely rather shoot. So, we'll see. Maybe one of them pop out. Or if he comes back, we'll reanalyze the situation. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, we have perched up in this gibbet line since a little before daylight. Hey, when you be quiet, I'm doing an interview. You're talking. I know, but you're moving like it's background noise. It's kind of distracting. Get over it. Oh. I'm the boss here. I'm gonna slap her. Probably not. You can think about it. Just don't do it. <laughs> so we've been sitting here enjoying this cool Georgia morning, traversing the hills and planted pine trees and all that majestic crap. Anyway, we've seen two eight points, some does, yearlings, and some turkeys that are bipolar that don't know it. it's not turkey season and it's not spring because they were running around gobbling and strutting this morning. True. It is what it is. So, uh, maybe somebody watched this video and wonder why I didn't shoot one of those eight points. And I have no other explanation than I just didn't feel like it this morning. I just was not, you know, I didn't get excited. I'm glad to see them last year. But I just didn't, I didn't feel like shooting one of them. Which is something that I don't say very often, but maybe it's just one of those days. Woke up in a good mood. Got my killing compadre Fred. And his better half. And my prettier half. She, look, she did her makeup this morning and everything. Don't hey, want to scare anybody. She's so pretty. But anyway, enough of that crap. Hopefully there'll be a butt walk out here that we want to shoot before we get out of here this morning, but it's uh October thirty first. Happy Halloween. <laughs> what we gonna what we gonna go what we gonna trick or treat ass tonight? I don't know, man. I know about that. We can go as Kevin and Woody. <laughs> <laughs> we go nah, probably not. Anyway, pretty morning in Georgia. Well uh yeah, see what happens. So we're right on the edge of the rut kicking in pretty good um we were actually over here on one of our antler king plots on this power line a while ago and saw a buck actually come across like he was bird dogging a little bit looking for does so i wanted to come check a few spots in the middle of the day before we go hunt this evening but this antler king plot we got here in the back we called an oak tree plot because there's a big oak tree right in the middle of it and a lot of acorns falling and the deer are hammering this acorns under this tree but you can see they're hammering the plot pretty good it's been a little bit dry but they're just keeping it grazed down. It's a really pretty spot, but uh, what we're doing is we're putting a ground blind in here. We've got a ladder stand down here we set up, but it's more for bow hunting. And um, 
we want to be able to hunt multiple wind directions. So we got this blind, we're brushing it in right now. But we do this in the middle of the day. Just try to be real quiet in and out. And um, hopefully this thing will be ready to kill a deer in a day or so. Hi again. It's Beth and Michael. Michael and Beth, I'm gonna look at it legs first. Got my camera girl. Afraid I had to leave. I had to go back to work tomorrow. So appreciate his help. Although his luck was not forced into the hunt, it seemed. But uh, we're set up here in the same spot we hunted uh, the first afternoon and first morning. Because of course we didn't hunt here this morning. We chose a different spot where we could see a lot more real estate. And we saw a few deer. It was real slow. It was raining, cloudy, muggy. And it cooled off. Rain came through. Now the sun's out. But there was a nice buck on camera here this morning. So I figured we'd come see if he came back this afternoon. Right? Right. Yeah. Anyway, she was bored. Nothing else to do. So she'd come sit with me and hit the record button when one walks out. You know, whatever. Whatever it takes. Team it's play. always more fun to sit with somebody. That is for sure. It's boring by yourself. Right. But I'm at the point with this thing where we need to send some lead down range. We need to put a tag on a deer. We need to put some meat in the freezer. So any buck three and a half and older, regardless of rack size, is going to get punched with my rifle, I hope, because I'm ready to shoot one, I'm ready to send y'all pictures, I'm ready to put some backstrap on the grill, and I think it's supposed to be fun, and when you don't shoot anything, sometimes it's not fun. And it's not fun to live with him when he's like that either. I just get frustrated because I know there's deer here, I know there's good deer here, but one just needs to show up for me to have a show. Please and thank you. That's all for now.
out this morning. He followed these does out. He had to have been in there laid up with these does all day. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord, for a Sunday evening hunt with a pile of deer that may never come back here again after that. <laughs> no, we still got two out there. Two years, I was looking around like, hey, y'all, I think somebody got a shot. Well, we don't have any tracking job. We can back the cart right to him and load him up. That's the bonus of all this. 10 point, I think. I'm 99% sure he's a 10. I don't care. He's the biggest buck I've seen this week. And he's the first good one I got a shot at, so. We put him down. Right. Right. All right, y'all. We dropped him in the food plot. Pulled the cart down here and we were close to load him up. He fell right in our little road. He was coming here to eat some Antler King. Had a ton of does in here. Got a redneck ghillie blind back there. He's about 80 yards, 90 yards. Dropped him right there. Oh, ho. I mean, I'm just shameless plugging right now, but we got us a good buck down. You see good with that light? Yeah. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. That is a fine buck right there. Oh, yeah. Old South Georgia 10 point. Big old neck on him. I'll run it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Got a little kicker right there. This deer showed up in this food plot this morning with some does on her. Got a spy point camera right down here. And um, I said, if we see him this evening, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot him. He's a mature buck. First time we've got pictures of him. Just a nice South Georgia 10 point. We've worked our butt off on this place all summer for three years now, trying to get good food plots going in, get all our stands set up, just learn this property. And uh, I can't be more proud. We have worked hard to have some good bucks like this coming in. Good old mature buck. I couldn't be happier than that right there. That was a fun hunt. I'm an A1 camera girl. This guy, he got good brows, good twos, threes. Got these little, little kickers to make him a ten. And he is a big old body rascal too. He's all big old, old red head like me, a white face. I don't know how old this jerker is. He's, I think he's probably at least four. Just looking at his body, but don't matter. It don't matter how old they are. It's a matter if you're having fun. And we had us a ball this afternoon. This food plot filled up with deer. I mean filled up. We had another decent eight out here that was a young deer. After we shot this buck, a uh, crazy rack big six point come out. He's straight up tall, young deer, but a ton of does. I can smell this rascal. They're fixing to the bust loose on the rut. It's November 1st in Georgia. But to get one on your home dirt, with all the hard work you put in, me, Beth, Kevin, Philip, and Anna, Mike Daly, Mike Daly, Wild, South Georgia Wildlife, put this seed in the dirt for us, helped us get it going. My buddy Fred was over here video with me the last several days. He had to go back and go to work. But, uh, hate he missed out, but, you know, I figured I had best with me, so that's my good luck charm. <laughs> that's a good deer, Dad, Dad got it. What you think, Beth? That's awesome. I'm super proud. That's probably my biggest Alamo book. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, hot dog. Did you like good on all that? Yeah. You can see me see my pretty face real well. I can see your cheeks. <laughs> I'm so proud of this deer. All that hard work comes together. That's what it's all about, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He and like he is a big body rascal. Got a cool double throat patch right there. Beautiful coat on him. That double throat patch is very common over here. Yeah, they like they got like a sandy color to them. He got kind of these white legs like a lot of them do. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of double throat patches. But he's a bull of a deer. He's an older deer too. I Look believe. at his nose. It's I feel like he's 
Like kind of a bull nose looking. Oh yeah, he man, he was coming in here to be the boss. We had yeah. another we got another deer on camera that's bigger than this. Um, he's at like an eight or a nine with longer times, but I don't know if he's got the frame like this deer. But it don't matter. This is awesome. He's beautiful. Thank you. Camera girl. <laughs>